one here. Uh, I, I am going to talk a little bit more about another tool that is going to be valuable for us is Excel reports. And so uh, I just wanted to give you a quick screenshot uh, example here. You can see that um, there are a variety of smart lists and dashboards that are actually come with Dynamics GP. You may not even know they exist. And I wanted to make sure that you're aware of this, but these are Excel reports. There's also, if you have Smart List Builder, you also have Excel Report Builder where you can build your own. This happens to be a pre-created uh, dashboard that now comes with Dynamics GP. Uh, this is a financial dashboard. You'll also find a purchasing, inventory, and sales dashboard that will have uh, key information that would be important to you, as well as a variety of other uh, important uh, either pivot table or regular Excel-based reports. So there are more than 200 Excel reports built into uh, Dynamics GP. That should be 2015. And you can publish or share those reports to SharePoint, which I think are very useful. They're refreshable reports. And uh, with Excel reports, you don't have to use a uh, GP license. And so um, that's very important as well. So in regards to the Excel reports, uh, I think uh, they're easy to moderate to use, depends on where you stand. A uh, common user for these are uh, a financial analyst, typically. Uh, so we see a lot of inventory levels, customer addresses for a mail merge. Um, so Excel power users needing access to GP data, uh, use uh, for detail behind pivot tables and charts. So um, there's a, a variety of different reasons, and as, as any of you may have seen, there's a lot more use of Excel in coordination with GP today than there ever has been, really. So also, this is something that I thought you might be interested in as well. So if any of you in the, in the audience are actually uh, using Office 365, uh, so I happen to use uh, Office 365 myself. Uh, and I'm showing you this is a, a screenshot um, just so you can see it. This is my iPhone 6. You'll notice across the top, I have Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. cetera. Um, but that dashboard that I showed you a couple slides back, that one right there, um, I'm now looking at that very same dashboard uh, on my iPhone. This is uh, holding the iPhone vertically. This is holding it horizontally. So um, this is just, and, and probably not even the greatest example of how we'll have the ability to access that kind of data uh, via mobile devices um, as time goes along. And there's a lot of activity going on. In fact, if you, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, have been uh, watching any of the news about Dynamics GP, they've built in uh, what they call service-based architecture, which is going to allow a lot, of, a lot more mobile development and connectivity with Dynamics GP. And so whether that be accessing data this way or whether that using Office 365 or allowing people to enter their time or requisitions or timesheets or whatever it is, um, there's going to be a lot more of that. So we're not we're not isolated to looking at this on our laptops or our desktops. We can, we can certainly access this kind of information in a variety of ways. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. I did a presentation at the GPUG Summit and we were talking about Office 365 and I think this is a great uh, a way that we can use Office 365 um, and be able to give more visibility into data. Um, I also just wanted to show you a quick screen of the Excel report writer uh, because the Excel report writer looks very much like the um, report writer, uh, the smart list report writer in regards to joining tables. Uh, the difference is, is that we're actually dropping these reports into Excel rather than creating them in uh, smart list builder. And to, just to reiterate, if you have smart list builder, you also own the Excel report builder. So you can build reports, you can join tables, you can pull data in into an Excel sheet just like you can a smart list. 